one of the things that they're uh, exposing is, I think, a, a classic public policy mistake. So the, all the owners of medallions, taxi medallions, which are incredibly valuable right, around these, these cities, are not, not unsurprisingly upset about, uh, about uh, Uber. But it's, it's a classic public policy mistake where, where somebody is trying in public policy to uh, manage supply. So they say, you need a taxi medallion because we don't want to make sure there aren't so many taxis that nobody can make a living uh, driving a taxi. And then they make the mistake of letting the price of a medallion go up, right? Up, 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 up. And it happens here. We have it we have in Canada. We have it with supply management. Uh, it now costs more in buying quota if you want to raise a chicken. It costs more for the quota than the chicken, the feed for the chicken, yeah. and the barn for, for the chicken all combined. Uh, and that all started out with a good idea, manage, manage uh, supply so that farmers won't go right. broke, and has ended up they let the price get up so high that then, that, that then essentially if they opened up trade in that, which the international trade agreements they're trying to, trying to do, everybody, is, everybody who's purchased quota is outraged. Same thing with, with, with taxi medallions. And, the, and the, there would be a simple public policy fix, right? Which is that when you, when you uh, create a regulatory structure like that, you say, this is the price uh, that uh, medallions are going to trade at. And you can be like a central bank. Anytime the price gets above that, you dump more uh, medallions on the market. And the time price uh, gets below that, you suck medallions out of the market. You buy medallions out so you can be just like the Bank of Canada or Bank of England. So yeah, that, would, that would then get rid of, that would get rid of the, the one of the big huge pieces of resistance to Uber.